Tri-State tonight is rallying behind Peter Edward Rose once again. Nearly 3,000 of you have already signed the new petition asking Commissioner Bud Selig to let him back in the game. All those signatures coming in just 42 <laughs> hours. It was 25 years ago yesterday that baseball banned Rose for betting on the Reds. Now others are also joining the chorus asking for Rose's reinstatement. Nine on your side, sports director John Popovich has what's new on that. John? Carol, it's an impressive list of national voices, not just the hometown crowd here in Reds country. The latest we found so far, the Dallas Morning News columnist Kevin Sherrington, Rolling Stones magazine, the Bleacher Report, Rant Sports, all saying it's time to let Charlie hustle back in baseball. Among those influential voices, Mike Schmidt. Schmidt played with Rose when the Phillies won the world championship in 1980. Schmidt says to win over many in baseball, Pete needs to be a model citizen. But Schmidt says betting isn't an, a federal offense, quote, to make him an example as if he were some sort of criminal or menace to society is ridiculous. Bud Selig has just five more months in office. He won't say what he's going to do, but he's had 22 years to change his mind. Hope for Rose fans now rest with Selig's successor, Rob Manfred. Ironically, there are now odds on whether baseball will change its position. One website, mytopsportsbooks.com, puts the chances at one in eight. All right, thank you, Papo. WCPO.com has an entire page dedicated to the 25th anniversary of the decision to ban Pete Rose from baseball. Look at how other media are covering this story. Right now, we have a link to the Pete Rose petition that you can sign. Reporter Greg Noble looks at the loopholes that could open the door for Rose, plus a timeline of Pete's career and much more now on WCPO.com.